So you're looking at this YouTube video right now which shows an amazing transformation. Workers are turning the flight deck of an aircraft carrier into a basketball arena. Yeah, you better hope the ball doesn't go out of bounds. <laughs> Long way down. You, hopefully you have a bunch of balls to play with. It's the USS Carl Vinson, the aircraft carrier that took Osama bin Laden's body to his burial at sea. Now it's a much different scene today and correspondent Bill Whitaker joins us now from San Diego with the story. Hey Bill, good morning. Good morning, Chris and Rebecca. The Carl Vinson behind me is an incredible ship. It's more than 1,000 feet long with more than 5,000 sailors and airmen. It was the first to launch airstrikes during Operation Enduring Freedom, the first to respond to the Haitian earthquake, and today, another first. Let's call it first in fun. This is what the flight deck of the U.S. aircraft carrier Carl Vinson usually looks like, a beehive of power, planes, and patriotism. It was from this deck that Osama bin Laden was buried at sea. This is the Carl Vinson today, the flight deck transformed into a polished floating basketball court with seating for 7,000, where this evening in the shadow of downtown San Diego, a first-of-a-kind event. Number one, University of North Carolina plays Michigan State, a rematch of the 2009 NCAA championship. That game won by UNC. The winner this time, the crew of the Carl Vinson. We all can't believe that this is actually happening. Ship serviceman Jason Petty. Well, now that we're actually here, the goosebumps are popping up and everybody can't wait for the popcorn to come out. So. We're, we're excited. Excited about the game, excited that basketball fan in chief President Barack Obama will be on board. Navy man and basketball fan Petty can't believe his eyes. This flight deck? It's dangerous. Very dangerous. And when it's wartime, this is a place where you can easily die. But today? We get to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Service officer Tammy Larison was first in line to get a ticket for the game. Are there any bets going on on this ship? Not allowed in the military, sir. <laughs> so, not a one? Nope, never. <laughs> An indelible memory for the crew, an incredible experience for the college players. UNC's John Henson. They're fans of us, and you know we're kind of we're fans of them. We want to know what they do, and they want to know what we do. So uh, it's kind of cool. A world away from what this crew did on deployment. Six months ago, they were part of the effort to kill Osama bin Laden. Yet no one on this ship is boastful. But that was huge. The whole country was paying attention to what you guys did. That was. That was a big deal. It is for everybody, you know, but it is a job that we do every day. You know, when called upon, we'll do it again. Without them, our world isn't the same. Michigan State forward Draymond Green. We can all say, hey, you know, we're playing this game for the military, but at the end of the day, what does that amount to them putting their life on the line for us every single day? Remember Serviceman Petty? This is his special day. He gets to watch his wife's cousin, Michigan State star Draymond Green, play on his ship. And after 18 years in the Navy, he's re-enlisting today in front of President Barack Obama. My biggest wish or hope would be to see the president. These are our inspirations. These are the people that uh, lead us to where we want to go, and that's the big one. Chris and Rebecca, it's all fun and games today, but very soon, in the next few weeks, this ship and this crew will be deployed once again to do what their country asks of them. Back some, to you. Some of our bravest. Good that they're getting a little bit of a break, though. Bill, thank you. Great story. Looking forward to that game as well.